Debbie's Mindless Happy Place, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to do cheered trays and we're going to be using glass cutting boards and burner covers that I got from the Dollar Tree. They turned out super cute and they only cost $5 a piece. Then we're going to be decorating these trays with items that I got from the Dollar Tree, things that I made, and sell items that I got from Target and Hobby Lobby. After that, we're going to be doing an Easter centerpiece with a three-tiered tray that I bought with Easter items and setting the table with dishes that I got from the Dollar Tree. This will complete all my Easter decorations and I think they turned out so cute that I'm really excited to share them with you. Next week, we will be doing everything Peeps. So we will be crafting with Peeps and we will be doing Peeps Sweet Treats. Look forward to that video next week. If you enjoy the content of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Without further ado, let's get to the video. We're gonna take this chalk paint that I got from Walmart and we're gonna use it to cover these two candlesticks. And once we do that, we will be a uh, hot glue. No, we won't be hot gluing them. We will be super gluing them on top of each other and they will make the pillar for our tiered trays. So I just took the white chalk paint and painted them and made sure that I covered them all really good. And I did two coats of this paint so that the tiers were covered really good. And once I did that, got them all covered, then I took these glass cutting boards that I got from the Dollar Tree. This one says live every moment with joy and laughter. So those were two dollars. And then I got these coffee ones from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this um, these burner covers from the Dollar Tree. I thought that they were really cute and I thought that they would make a really pretty tiered tray. So that's what I did. So that's all we're gonna need. So the first thing that I did is I took my super glue. It's gel super glue. And I just glued these two pieces together and held them still for a second. And then once I did that, I did the base um, and stuck it in the middle of the square piece of the glass cutting board. And then I did the same thing on the other side and put the super glue around the top edge. All the way around the top edge, really carefully. Whoa. <laughs> And then I glued the circle glass cutting board on top of that, trying to get it in the center. I think after I did this one, I started getting smarter and I turned it upside down and it worked out a lot easier, but it turned out really cute. I thought it looks really nice. And again, it's only about $5 to make that. And I did the same thing with all the other pieces that I got from the Dollar Tree. Then I just took some of my chalk paint and painted right around the middle where the two candlesticks meet so that you can't tell that they are two pieces that they all look really gorgeous so that is the coffee burner covers and the coffee glass cutting boards that's how they turned out and then we have the live joy laughter glass cutting boards and the live joy laughter burner covers now we're going to get items and put them around the tiered tray and decorate so these two glass jars i got from the dollar tree so a dollar a piece and then i got some shortbread cookies from the dollar tree and I'm gonna put the shortbread cookies into one jar. And that was pretty easy. So, and then I'm just gonna start decorating around my tiered tray. And then with my other glass jar, I'm gonna put some creamer in it. 
And I'm going to decorate it on my tiered tray. So that was $4. And then I got this little coffee um, thing at the Dollar Tree. And I made these. I ordered these off of Amazon and I got 24 of them and I just kind of painted them. Then I got this coffee mug from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I got this coffee cash, which is a little bank, and I got it from the Dollar Tree. Super cute and very cheap. And I got these little plants from the Dollar Tree. So I really like the little plants. They really look cute. And it adds a little bit of greenery to my decorating. And as you can see, I just kind of played with it until I got it the way that I wanted it. And it turned out so super cute. And I have it in, I have a window in between my kitchen and my den. And I just kind of put this and the other coffee tray both in that window. So this is my first coffee tray that I made. And it turned out super cute. I particularly like this backside with the coffee cash and the little coffee sign at the bottom. I really like it. So next we're going to do the other coffee tiered tray. And I got another coffee cup at the Dollar Tree. And then I got these beads I made. So they were probably just a couple of dollars with the beads that I used. And so super cheap. If you buy those out and about, you're gonna pay a premium for them. So I just made my own pretty easy, just string the beads on there. And then I have this little sign that somebody at work gave me, so I thought it fit. So I added it to my little coffee tiered tray. And then that little grateful sign I got from the Dollar Tree. And this plant I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this little easel and I got it from the Dollar Tree and then I just wrote coffee on it and I tried to set it up on there but it didn't quite fit so I closed it up and just leaned it against the back and it turned out super cute again and didn't cost a fortune um, just like ten dollars for the whole um, items on it and five dollars for the tray so the whole thing is decorated really cute and again I put this between my kitchen and my den in the little window that goes through there so they turned out super cute so next I'm going to do a spring tiered tray and I'm going to start with this little home sweet home sign and again I had to play with it until I figured out where I wanted it and then I got these little um, bird houses at the Dollar Tree and I painted, they were just wood and I painted them different colors. And I got this little um, cup from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this Hello Spring sign, I believe from Target and it was like a dollar. So I added it to it. And then I got this little bird nest and I tried it here. I don't think it ends up here. So I think it just was too big. And then I got a little plant from the Dollar Tree and another birdhouse that I painted green. And um, another plant from the Dollar Tree and another birdhouse from the Dollar Tree that I painted blue this time. So I have blue, red, and green that I painted it with. It makes it all look all springy and bright and cheery. And then some more beads that I just made and I'm just going to kinda put them around so that they make it look all bright and cheery. And I think this one turned out super cute again and um, I really like the way it turned out. And it ended up staying in my living room along with all my other Easter decorations so super easy super cheap super bright and cheery and just makes you happy so then the last one which is my favorite one that I did um, I started with these little vases I think they were three dollars from Target they may have been five 
and then this was my splurge these little um, flowers they were three dollars a piece so I invested nine dollars in them and I cut them down so that they fit in these little vases but I think that they are so gorgeous they just have bright colors and it just pops and I really really like the way that they turned out so I couldn't be more happy and then I got this from the Dollar Tree and it lights up and I just it's a wood plat it's a wood butterfly and I just painted it and I got these little bitty planters from Target and they were a dollar a piece so I just added them to around for more color and more greenery and then this little butterfly was another little wood knickknack at the Dollar Tree and I just painted it I like this purple and yellow it looks really bright and cheery I just this one is like my favorite one I really like the way it turned out and then this hello spring I got from Target it's a candle and I think it was three dollars so again I have a little bit of money in this one but I like the way it turned out and then one more little plant that I got at Target for a dollar added that to the top and just oh I just I can't say enough for the colors on this one and then one more little wood uh, box that I got at the Dollar Tree and I painted up so I added that to the back side to finish the whole tiered tray for spring and again I added this one also to my Easter or in my living room with all my Easter stuff so it just brightens the room and looks so pretty and cheery and springy and just makes you think of a new season and again the three big flowers are my favorite part of this tiered tray I just really like the way that they turned out so I couldn't be more pleased with that one at all so again it lives in my living room with all my Easter stuff and this is a tear tray that I bought and I actually spent money on but I'm going to use it all year round and decorate it for different um, seasons and decorate it different ways so and it's going to be my centerpiece for my table and these two little plaques I got at Hobby Lobby and they were just like two dollars a piece and then this was a splurge it was originally nine dollars but I got 40% off on it so that makes it about six dollars and I just think it was super cute it looks a little bit big right here but once you get it all decorated in there I think it just looks really cute on my table so I again I'm just putting them around and then I got this little carrot for like a dollar and it doesn't stay here but I started with it here and these little salt and pepper shakers I got at um, Target for like three bucks and I think they're super cute and I think they work out good on the table and then I got these three these four little bunnies at Hobby Lobby and I think they were like a dollar a piece so I think they add a good amount of color and a splash of color to my decor so I just kind of placed them around on um, my tiered tray and made them look really cute and they give it a lot of color and then next let's see what I have I have a couple of these little plants that I got at the Dollar Tree to give it some greenery color and I just again placed them around and worked with them until I liked how it looked and again this is all just like a work in progress right now and once I get it all situated, it looks really cute. But again, that carrot isn't going to stay there. I'm going to change it out for some different carrots here in a little bit. And then I had, I got two more of these little, <laughs> I like how I throw things on the floor. I got two more of these little candles. One says Bunny Kisses and Happy Easter um, at Target for $3 a piece. So I added those in there. Um, they actually smell really good, so they actually make the room smell really good. I noticed after I got all done with everything. So you can notice that I'm having trouble with that carrot already. So it's just kind of big and bulky. And then I got these 
Easter Bunny measuring spoons. And they're super cute and they didn't have a tag on them so she gave them to me for two dollars when i got up to the checkout so they were super cheap and i think they look really cute and um i'm just using them to decorate with anyway so i'm not really worried about it but they turned out super cute looking on my little decorations and again i'm just moving stuff around until i get it the way that i want it as i add stuff to it um, but I, again, couldn't be more happier with the way that it looks and the way that it turned out for my centerpiece. And then I have like four of these rolling pins again. They're probably a dollar twenty-five a piece, and I just they they come all wood color, and I just painted them all different kinds of spring colors. And I'm gonna use three here and I put one on the shelf behind me whenever I'm all done So you will see that later in the video How all my Easter stuff turned out so we will see it then and that's just about it out oh, there I oh not yet See I'm debating on this whole carrot thing. It's bugging me. It's too big. I Don't like it. I switch it out for these little carrots. I think they fit a lot better and again, you just kind of have to play with it until you get it the way that you want it to be. And then there, there you go. I think it looks really cute. It makes a good centerpiece. Um, you're gonna see in a minute once I add my dishes and my placemats to the table, it's gonna look really cute. And these placemats, I got at the Dollar Tree, so I got four of them, so that's $4. I was disappointed Dollar Tree didn't have this rose color kind of pink um, dishes, but they didn't, so I had to make do without them, but um, the placemats are nice and bright and cheery. They have flowers on them, and I think that they look really uh, pretty on the table. Then I got these blue plates to start with, and just a place setting of four, so four dollars again. So that makes $8 for my table setting. And so I just placed them around again. And so those are the big plates. And then I have the little plates and I got green on that color. And so I'm just placing those around on top of my big plates, putting my little plates on there. And to finish off my table, I've got these orange bowls to set on top. And I really like these bowls. They're nice and big. And I really like the size of them. So, and again, everything's a dollar. So the total table place setting was $16. And so now we're just gonna look kind of at all my Easter decorations. You can see where some of the things that I was trying to use in my tiered trays ended up. And so this is my little shelving that I always decorate. It's in my dining room and I always try to decorate it for each of the holidays. And you can see how cute it all turned out. And if you didn't see my previous videos, you can check those out to see how some of these other items that are up here on the shelves were made because I did those in previous videos. This little rainy day fun also came from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was super cute, and yes, I know my super glue is laying up there. Um, this little purple four shelves I did in my first video, so go check that out. Some more beads up there. You can see where my carrot ended up. You can see where the bird nest ended up. Um, that little purple flowers I got from a friend at work and I thought it went really good up there those two little signs um, that that say Easter Easter Bunny and Cotton Trail Crossing I, those were at Dollar Tree at first, so I got those for one dollar a piece and here is my Easter tree I have it's so bright and cheery I'm not sure if it's going to stay for the summer or not. I was going to decorate it in 4th of July, but I'm not for sure if I'm going to do that or not, but I probably will. Anyway, so here's my Happy Easter at the top, and 
my garland, my Easter egg garland around it. Um, I did that in my first video. I think my first video, maybe my second video. I think I did the garland in my second video. So check that out. And my little Easter decorations that I got on my Easter tree. So I think it's all right. And I have one set of lights on my Easter tree. I probably need two, but I'll probably wait and do that next week. I mean, next year. And then this is my little end table I made for about $5 from the Dollar Tree. And my flowers, I really like my vase of flowers. It turned out super cute. And again, all these items were in a previous video that I made. And I really like the little end table. It's super cute and super easy to make and super cheap. So I really do like it. And then you can see how one of my spring trays ended up. I added these two little um, trees to it. I think they were either $3 a piece or $5 a piece at the Dollar Tree. And my little Easter egg, my little Easter nest did end up staying with this spring tiered tray. And then my other tiered tray over here. This one again is my favorite one and I just really, really, really like those three flowers. They just pop with color. So I really, really, really like them. So I hope that you enjoyed watching the video today and I hope that you come back for another episode next week.